After a pretty decent month in a bit in terms of responding to that Inter Milan defeat, we've beat Aberdeen, we've beat Motherwell, we've won against Lokomotiv, uh, St Mirren drawing their hearts win now as well, and then another draw against Lokomotiv Moscow. So, I mean, the Champions League group is, what, five points out of 12? We didn't actually see that bad, considering Inter Milan and Barcelona's in your group, but I guess if you look at it from a point of view, you're playing Lokomotiv Moscow, and you have any chance of going through, you realistically need to be beating them, but... Next up is the 10th of November, and you know what that means, it's Old Firm Day, and as you can see in the league, Celtic slipped down to 4th, there are 2 points behind Levy in 2nd, a point behind Aberdeen, there's us 12 points clear, the league is non-existent, but you know, it's always great playing the Old Firms, but in terms of the, the, the squad, the squad's pretty good, you know, um, but Morelos... It's shit, because in previous FIFAs, this guy would go up to like an 89 this year. I mean, the fact that he's had like three injuries that's ruled him out for like a year and a half across all the seasons in this hasn't exactly helped him, you know. But Celtic playing with some issues, Dembele and Larson when they fit in this. I mean, Dembele and Larson, they're rolling back, they just fucking bring these two in a, a cool action scene long. But in terms of our team, probably give Juan or whatever, Juan, Juan Juan. Give him a game instead of Karius, because he's been shit. Here we go, big Larson. We statue up of him there at the other side of Celtic Park, and the sun's playing for them. Uh, also, Dembele, I'm going to assume it's no Musa. Up front, Julian at the back. But, I mean, we've a changed team here with a bunch of youngsters on the bench. But Celtic, I mean, I think... I mean, the gap is 12 points, but I think if we win here, even a draw, the league's probably over. I mean, of course, it's not mathematically over, but realistically, it's over. But Martinelli, the star man, everyone wanting him, plays a ball to Kent, but the ball was pish. Holy good fuck, Fontas, man. Saliba manages to get his dome on it. Well, his boot then gets his dome on it. Four minutes in, Celtic pressurising, man. Pressurising, whipped in, passing. I mean, what a beautiful clearance. Oh, Kent. Oh, fuck's sake, man. He was almost away. There's a fucking spider on the wall. That's what I'm talking about. One of the many positive things you can say about the visitors is that they have the most potent attack in the league. And Stuart, that is official. Well, away from home, their ability to create chances and score goals has been fantastic. But it's the speed of their counter-attack that's been key to their success. What the fuck is that? Honestly, man, pinballed a bit, and they're able to pass like a forward ball into like the six, well into the six yard box, and he's onside. Like the fucking neck of that man. Patterson boots him instead of that. That is diabolical, man. This defence needs shot for that. Oh yes. One Morelos pass Welsh. And it's one each, literally a minute later. And there's us burying the guy. Fucking keep him in, Morelos. I think he's only 27, maybe 28 in this. Fucking, look at that man, he wins the ball again. Over to Kent, Martinelli. Slip through, back to Kent. 2-1! And I believe it's Glenn Kamara, man. 15, I mean, I mean literally the 11th minute, you want to put a noose in your neck in the 15th. The Celtic fans are tanning the rest. No, fuck it. And he's gave a pen. I don't get that. Kamara, as soon as he scores a goal, gives away a penalty. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, how the f I don't know. The ref needs shot. We're 18 minutes in. David Turnbull steps up, buries it past Juan. 
And that, ah, it's two each now. Not good. Kent. Out of Martinelli. What the fuck? Big Giannis. Tomorello's Kent. Garbage! No. Cleared practically off the line. I mean, that was preventing the goal. Kamara. Running. Booked already. Not good. Morelos, he'll be off, won't he? Yep, he has. I mean, fuck, he managed to get to it in the end, but the ref just giving us false hope. I mean, what the f what is that? I don't even know who scored it, but Max nowhere near it. It's number two or twelve. It's sorrow. There's deep sorrow in. I mean, we. They're awful defending. See, when you're on ultimate, you just can't fucking defend like that. That's why every game I win's a cricket score. Literally, like, every game is a cricket score. Haji. Flicks out to Patterson. That heavy touch was doing no one any favour, son. That was shit. Come on. So push clearance, Patterson. Wins the ball, but, I mean, just heads it for a self to counter attack. I mean, we fucking may as well left it. You know, go to Everton. Big fat Frank. What is Pierre Joanne at? Fucking windy like you're like. I mean, no pace in that. Come and collect it, but no. Nearly 4 2 to them. Right. Come on. Of course, man. Of course, he's able to bring it down. Right. Just blow the whistle. I need to take off Kamara because he's on a yellow. Oh my god. He's on a yellow. But David Turnbull goes for a finesser from about 50 yards out and he's buried it. And why the ref didn't blow the whistle on time? Don't know. Don't fucking know.